Hey, Bobby, what's wokeness? Oh, snap. I've been waiting for somebody to ask me that question for like two stupid years now. <laughs> and? I forget. Hmm, okay. Or wait, I'm, I'm not sure I ever knew. Sorry, Bug. No sweat. I mean, here I am asking, so. It's such a slippery eel of a word. Yeah, right? It's like one of those things that's harder to define than it is to actually just kind of feel when it pops its eely little head out. Right. Like irony, you know? I mean, you could totally tell when something's ironic, but can you define irony? Mm -hmm. Choking to death on a lifesaver? <laughs> that's pretty good, Bob. Mm. Even though I'm not sure it's right, necessarily. Since, you know, the lifesavers in question weren't actually designed for safety, right? They're candy. Bobby. Bob. Oh, sorry about that. You were boring me. No, oh, that's fantastic. Here we go. Wokeness. The quality of being alert to and concerned about social injustice and discrimination. That's what it actually means? I thought it was something negative, the way people throw it around like they're slinging shit pies at each other or something. Well, listen, I mean, even Twinkies could be negative if you inject them with poison, right? Right, right. What does that mean? I don't know. I thought it had more to do with, like, how we judge and label and categorize each other and all that bullshit garbage. Yeah, I think it does to a certain extent. As far as, like, tolerance, inclusivity, one love, whatever the fuck. Stop looking at me. So it's basically just, like, don't be a dick, right? I mean, I guess. But isn't that the way it's always kind of been? A little bit, at least? Right. I mean, I don't remember ever walking around calling people fucking face, face, you know? No, be honest. Motherfucking is a pretty fun one. Yeah, you're right. Fucking too, huh? Totally. Especially when you stack them. Like, you <laughs> motherfucking <laughs> Yeah, you <laughs> fucking <laughs> dumb out fat like <laughs> Why don't you cake some <laughs> around your little circles <laughs> under your fucking <laughs> <and> <laughs> So yeah, I guess all of those are off limits. Bummer. It feels like when my doctor told me I had to give up pork rinds. Really? What, you have high cholesterol or something? Mm, that, and I was getting grease all over their clipboards. <laughs> And doorknobs. Okay. And the mirrors. You with the touching mirrors again. What is and windows. Yeah, okay, that's weird. And you're weird. You're weird. Mm. Okay, okay, so then how can I safely compliment a female at work, for instance? Hmm. A little birdie flirty? I mean, I'm sure there's always a way. It just depends on the situation, you know? No, situation. Like, say you're both in the kitchen at work. Mm. Maybe you could say something like, hey, I like your shoes. But what if I hate her shoes? <sighs> Oh, I get it. The shoes are a device, right? Yeah, that's right, Bob. Mm. But I mean, what if she's wearing Crocs? Our entire relationship would be built up on a dirty lie. Well, God forbid you do that. Right. So, so in that case, you would end up dying alone. Oh. Well. Yeah. Mm. Maybe I could lie a little. There you go. Well, who knows? Maybe I could even learn to love Crocs. Mm. Damn it, your silence speaks volumes. I know that's never gonna happen. Take it easy. I'm gonna be an old crow who dies alone in his bathroom trying to wipe his stupid asshole. Bobby, I'm sure whatever chick you want to talk to doesn't have 17 pairs of Crocs and that's it, okay? So you just wait until she rocks some fucking combat boots or something. <laughs> so what, I gotta wait till it's 1994 again? <laughs> Jesus, was it that long ago? Mm. <laughs> well, that's what happens to your reference pool when you stop giving a fuck about everyone and everything. And how'd you know it would be a chicken? A chicken? Oh, oh, I just said chick, like the slang. Like chicks? Girls? Ah, you do like them chickens, though, huh? Yeah, they got fat little asses, so what? Everybody likes chicken. Yeah, but you want to fuck chicken. Mm, God damn it, I can't argue that. So then what am I supposed to say to them, then? Well, you could just wait until one of you strikes up a conversation, organically. I guess, but what kind of solution is that? I mean, how's anyone ever gonna flirt anymore? I'm saying. I mean, won't we all just end up jerking off alone on our phones? Well, if it isn't Nostradamus. Mm. Hey, everybody, get a load of Nostradamus over here. Right. It's Nostradamus. Right, hey, right. what's going on, Nostradamus? Right, right. Will you stop saying Nostradamus? I, I don't know, will I? You tell me, you're Nostradamus. Oh, oh yeah, okay, well then, as Nostradamus, I see you dying of blunt force trauma in an automobile accident. How about that? Jesus. <sighs> <clears throat> I don't know, Bug. It sounds like a pretty slippery slope to me. Mm -hmm. I mean, first you can't compliment anybody. Right. I mean, next thing you know, we won't be able to exchange filthy, dirty Snapchats with each other. Oh, you do that, huh? Mm -hmm. I have, yeah. Hmm. Let's just say it's a good thing those Snapchats disappear and can never be seen again, right? You know that's not true, right, Bob? You can totally save entire Snapchat conversations. There's a bunch of hacks and workarounds that people posted all over the internet specifically for that purpose. Bobby. Bobby? Bob. Huh? Oh. Oh, sorry. What were we jailing about? I mean, talking about. <laughs> jailing? <laughs> Why would I... <laughs> what? You okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm, is that someone at the door? <laughs> okay, take it easy. Mm, a lot of fetish stuff. Oh, I'm sorry, you didn't even ask me a question, did you? Oh, <laughs> oh gosh, what is with me today? Oh, Bobby. <laughs> Note to self. Burn it all to the ground.
Anyway, I'm not sure what any of this has to do with wokeness. Oh, yeah, right, wokeness. <laughs> well, it's a social injustice that these fucking Snapchats can be saved, I'll tell you that much. Not for me. I don't give a shit. Oh, yeah? And what's your entertainment of choice at this point, anyway? I like talk. NPR. Oh, and I like that Joe Perra. He relaxes me. Yeah, I've got something special to show you. It's my sheet music collection. Bug, has your dick moved once this year? <laughs> Even a little. Okay. Seriously, when's the last time you cracked the fat? <laughs> okay, it's been a minute. <laughs> Not a New York minute, that's for sure. I'm a nominee false Wisconsin minute, maybe. So anyway, I asked ChatGPT to go through and pick the most woke clip ever of our show. ChatGPT, that AI shit? Isn't that literally the devil to a couple of crow puppets like us? Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Although there's a human touch in puppetry that's underscored further by the sterility of AI entertainment, know what I mean? Believe that. And besides that, it's good for some other things, like if you want to see a picture of something you'd never ever see otherwise, like Chanel West Coast working on a complex math equation. Wow, that's something. It's almost like my eyes are accusing me of lying right now. So this is what it first picked for our clip. Ha <laughs> ha, very funny. Hilarious, right? So after it stopped laughing at me for 20 minutes like Chanel West Coast, <laughs> yeah, that one's 100% on me. Anyway, so this is supposedly our most woke clip ever. Bobby, what's your favorite bad word? Mm, probably retard. We're not supposed to say retard, remember? I didn't say retard. I said retard. Well, what's the difference? Mm, retard's like a more retarded version of retard. No, 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 Bobby. Uh, See, you just... Uh, no, uh, what? No. So no more retard? No more retard. Ixnay on the e-tard, Ray. What? Wow. You look so much younger. It was three months ago. Yeah, and that's like 30 months in bird years. <laughs> okay. Uh, what can I say? You might want to think about trying to do a brand of fabric softener. I don't know. Uh, okay, so are we socks or are we alive? Mm. Finally, once and for all, what's the answer? I like to think we are many things to many people. To people? So we're hanging out with people? Like we're people? What the hell does that mean? I guess it's like when human characteristics are given to non-human things. Yeah, Bug, I can read. Well, then why'd you ask? Because I'm not reading that shit. I'm <laughs> keeping it real. Okay. So it means, like, when you take a picture of a fish and draw a dick on it or something? What? A dick? What? Yeah, dick on a fish, no? I, I was thinking more like when you see raisins singing and dancing on commercials and shit. Oh, I see. So we've gone from 1994 to 1986 now. Yep, reference pool. Everyone and everything, Bob. Wow. Pretty big word for such a stupid thing, you know? Oh, yeah? You ever see an abacus? I mean, really, how is that not called a county beady thingy? Right. Meanwhile, something as complex and mysterious as a black hole is called a fucking black hole. Exactly. Explain that one, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Are you Republican? Are you Democrat? Are you this? Are you heterosexual? Are you homosexual? First of all, why do you even give a shit? Well, that had nothing to do with black holes. Or didn't it? Or didn't it? Did it? I think it did. Oh, no, he didn't. <laughs> Seriously, though, I think it did. Okay, what did who do what now? Well, he's talking about labels, right? Mm. I mean, maybe an abacus is supposed to be called an abacus for some stupid reason. <laughs> I'm not reading that shit. Keeping it real. And maybe the people who discovered black holes weren't hung up on what they should be called because it doesn't change what they are one way or another, right? Mm. Nice. Hmm. Or, Neil deGrasse Tyson's an idiot asshole. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe at that. Labels. They're fantastic. Oh, ChatGPT just updated what it thinks our most woke show clip is. Maybe the people who discovered black holes weren't hung up on what they should be called because it doesn't change what they are one way or another. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, but wait, wait. So no Ixnay on the Etart Ray? No. Ixnay on the Etart Ray. <laughs> It'll stay? It'll stay. Ugh, Faye.